Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. The defending OVC champion SEMO men's basketball team is finally back on the court, but as coaches, not players. The Red Hawks welcoming youth players from around the around the area, I should say, to campus this week for their annual kids camp. One of Brad Corn's main focuses with the program since taking over as head coach has been connecting with the community, and this event is one SEMO looks forward to every single year. Dylan Branson was joking with me that the kids have so much energy, it's hard getting up for practice afterwards. We'll hear from Coach Corn about this year's edition of Kids Camp coming up tonight at 10. Cardinals pitcher Adam Wainwright has deleted all of his social media accounts and it's no secret he's been struggling lately with his ERA over six and a half for the season. He joined 101 ESPN St. Louis this morning to talk about it and Wainwright said the struggles were a big reason for his decision to get rid of his accounts. He wants to drown out the negative comments he's been seeing and get back to 100% commitment. Nothing to worry about for Cardinals fans there. Over on the blue side of things, fans have reason to cheer NFL draft tonight. St. Louis has three selections in the first round, 10, 25, 29. Doug Armstrong has said multiple times that they may not make all three, could be in the mix for a trade if the right offer is there. They already made moves last night for Kevin Hayes from Philly. So a lot of moving pieces to keep track of once the clock starts in Nashville for the Blues. And the NSSC boys volleyball team has their final practice tonight before heading out for nationals. The boys 18U team will be competing at the USA Volleyball Junior National Championships in Salt Lake City over the next week. We got to catch up with them over the weekend as they hosted a car wash fundraiser for the trip. They're taking the court in Cape Girardeau. We'll catch up with them and hear from them tonight on Heartland Sports.